I started this track with this flute loop, which sounds like this. I applied the following effects to the sample. EQ, shaper box number one, which slows down the sample at the end of every bar. Shaper box number two, that applies tremolo and panning effect to the sample at the end of the drop. Reverb, cashmere essentials, soothe, and the sidechain. I also automated the low pass filter, sidechain, reverb, volume, shaper box one and two mix, and high pass filter. Let's move on to the second element, the vocal. After chopping and stretching, the sample sounds like this. To the vocal, I also added reverb, delay, EQ, and the sidechain. I also automated the delay, sidechain, filter, and the volume. The last thing I added to the buildup is the sweep, natural ambience, and crowd ambience. Let's move on to the drop now. Drums all together sounds like this. The only thing I applied to the kick is EQ and the filter, and I also layered the kick with the top kick. Together, it sounds like this. For the claps, I also used two layers. I also added EQ to both claps. Then there is this top loop, and the only thing on the mixer was an EQ. Then the most important thing about the drums, percussion. I used five percussion loops in total, and they sound like this. The only effect on the percussion was the low cut. Then I also added another clap and percussion every four bars to fill up the space, and they sound like this. And the last thing, the drum fills. Once all that was done, I routed all the drums apart from the kick and top kick to the drum bus and applied the following effects, Kashmir Essentials, Transient Master, and the EQ. This is the serum patch for the bass that I made, and it sounds like this. For the effects, I added Decapitator, Cashmere Essentials, EQ number 1, EQ number 2, the filter that is automated in the buildup, and the sidechain. Here is how it sounds all together. Let me know what you think of the track, and hopefully you learned something from it. You can grab the whole project file down in the link.